my name is Kenny. If you're new here, welcome to this channel. If you are subscribed already, welcome back. I see you and I appreciate you. On this channel, we speak about all things skincare. So if this sounds like your thing, please make sure you are subscribed. In today's video, we are going to be going through my morning skincare routine for hyperpigmentation and dark marks. So about two videos ago, I filmed a video about my hyperpigmentation and how I faded my dark marks. And I had a few of you guys in the comments asking me to film a skincare routine about how I actually use those products that I was talking about in that video so that's exactly what today's video is going to be about and I will have an evening hyperpigmentation skincare routine coming up my hair is up and my headband is on so let's get into the skincare routine so first of all I'm going to go wash my hands and I'm going to wet my face and then we can get started so you guys I have gone in and I have washed my hands and I have wet my face and first of all we're going to cleanse so the cleanser I use in the morning guys is the CeraVe foaming cleanser for normal to oily skin and I do have oily skin guys, I have oily acne prone skin so that's why I'm using this cleanser this cleanser is very very good for skin like mine so if you're trying to treat your skin I would definitely go down the route of using a more gentle cleanser because we're going to be using some really active ingredients later on down the line the cleansing stage, especially in the morning so you just want something that will take off any excess oil, sebum, dirt that you might have obtained and acquired during the course of the night that's really what this cleanser does and it's amazing it doesn't strip your skin so yeah let's cleanse my face so this is going to be a bit of a talk through guys so as you can see my skin is not perfect I am definitely still battling with some hyperpigmentation and actually the reason for that is because recently I tried out some new makeup yeah I was feeling fly, I was feeling fresh, I tried out some new makeup and guess what, it broke me out, yeah, it broke me out, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so that happened and yeah, I broke out and obviously I got a bunch of new hyperpigmentation, so since that video I filmed about my hyperpigmentation and my dark marks, I actually have got some brand new hyperpigmentation that I'm currently working on, so I thought actually this would be the perfect time to film this video. So I tried to cleanse for about 60 seconds, I think that's about 60 seconds, so I'm going to go wash this off. So guys, I have now cleansed my face and the next step is to use this scrub. So it's a very gentle facial scrub by Dr. Organic. And this is the skincare organic tea tree exfoliating scrub with grapefruit extract and salicylic acid. I'm not usually a fan of scrubs, but the reason why I actually like the scrub is because it's really, really gentle. So it's more of a creamy consistency, and I really like the fact that it has AHAs and BHAs in it for a very gentle exfoliation in the morning. So yeah, I'm going to just use this to scrub my skin very gently, very, very gently. The type of scrubs I would probably stay away from are like St. Ives apricot scrub because that's really harsh. It has very sort of big, huge sort of particles in it that might be really harsh on the skin. So I don't actually use the scrub every single day and I'm very gentle on my skin as you can really see. I'm not like scrubbing away because you can't scrub away <laughs> your your problems. <laughs> like so lovely people i have washed the scrub off my face and my face is feeling super duper smooth right now i am loving it so the next step is my toner so let me get my toner so here i have got my rice toner from i'm from and i really really love this toner because this toner is very very gentle and soothing again because i'm using exfoliating ingredients in this skincare routine i'm really trying to stay away from too much you know so i'm trying to keep some parts of the skincare routine really gentle and really hydrated so this toner step is where I really put some hydration back into my skin because because obviously I've just scrubbed my skin I'm just gonna look away from the camera to make sure I'm doing this right so after toning my skin now I have a choice of three serums that I alternate between in the mornings I can either use the ascorbic acid 8% plus alpha arbutin 2% from the ordinary or I can go for the Medicaid vitamin C, it's called C Tetra Lipid Vitamin C Antioxidant Serum or I can use the Diacinamide 10% plus Zinc 1% from The Ordinary and this is also a very good solution for sort of acne prone skin I just alternate in the mornings between any of these three serums and today I'm just going to go for the, the um, Lipid Vitamin C so I'm going to apply that now so how am I going to do this? <laughs> Guys, it's my first skincare routine. Please bear with me. Oh, okay, that was definitely a little bit too much, but we move. <laughs> Actually, no, I think that was just fine. Just fine. Guys, can you see the glow already? Like, oh my god, like I'm glowing. 
I'm so annoying. So after that, the next step is a moisturizer. I'm either going to go for my Neutrogena Hydro Boost or I'm going to go for this double base gel. So this isn't the most glamorous um, moisturizer out there. However, it's kind of like medical grade, but it does a very, very good job, especially at helping to keep your moisture barrier intact. I've heard really good things about the CeraVe Healing Ointment. So I think it will be quite similar to this. I'm going to go for this one today because I really want to form that protective layer over my skin. So let's apply our moisturizer. Mmm, that feels so good. Feels so good. Are you seeing how shiny I look? Okay, so my camera died, but I'm back looking super duper shiny and kind of glowy. I like it. So guys, it's sunscreen time. This is where you really protect your skin and stop your dark marks from getting even darker. And this is arguably one of the most important steps in a morning skincare routine for high pigmentation. So here I have two sunscreens. I have the Cosrx Aloe Soothing Cream. And that's an SPF 50 PA++++, whatever that means. I'm not sure what the plus 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 means, but I'm guessing it means it's really, really good at protecting your skin. And then I also have the Bioderma Sibibio SPF 50. So I kind of alternate between the two, but right now I'm using this more because so this sunscreen is specifically designed for damaged skin exposed to the sun. So obviously if you have hyperpigmentation or scarring, your skin is probably recovering from some damage. So I think this is very, very good. And it's also fragrance free, which I really like. So I'm going to be applying. Oh, drop the lid. One sec. People that know me are used to me being just so clumsy. Like it's quite ridiculous. So I can distribute that evenly onto my skin. And I really like this sunscreen because it doesn't leave a white cast. Oh my God, it doesn't leave a white cast. Wow, amazing. <laughs> Guys, I'm trying to get into eye creams now because these dark circles are not the one, really. They've got to go. So I found this one. I'm not gonna do a demo because I don't wanna waste your time. You know, we've got things to do, we've got places to be. But um, yeah, I'm trying to get into eye creams, but I will do a separate video on how I'm treating my dark circles because it's got to go. So yeah, just thought I'd let you guys know. And finally, before we go about our day, I use the very simple and trusted Vaseline Lip Therapy and yeah, we just do this and we keep it moving, you know? And I need to get my nails done because it's quite ridiculous at this point. I will try and pay the nail lady a visit very soon. So guys, that is it for my morning routine for hyperpigmentation and dark marks. I try to keep it really simple for the morning because you don't want to do too much. The nighttime routine is definitely a lot more intense. So guys, I hope I've included everything in this video and I will include links in the description box. If you are not subscribed, please make sure you are. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think and drop me a like if you like this video. Do take care of yourselves and I will see you in my next video.